Let me tell you I am the DJ days of because we need a lot of it. Especially now that we have to make our own dang steel fire. This game doesn't give us vigilians for free anymore. So it's like we're back to the to the gathering grind. Like the Dark Ages. Well, I think they're going to put some very interesting stuff that you can buy with your coffer points. No, no, no. You do not get this huge. Oh, did you just one shot that guy? It was awesome. One shot. I, you know, I actually am holding out that they're going to leave, leave leave it in in some form. Like, I mean, I, I basically recommended that they, you know, at least make a central place for skulls. Like, maybe take the body turn-ins out, but have a place to turn in skulls at Mechamosha Shrine to get oboes to buy oboe things. Because the oboe things are still there, right? So... I, it's not hard to get to Mechmosha Shrine. You can do that pretty early on without dying. So um, you could farm, you know, skulls and then run run them up, turn them in, get oboes. Because it only takes 13 skulls to get a crawl, right? A skull wall. I don't think you're going to make a sorcery skull wall, but that would be awesome. Because they don't they already have, like, a brazier of skulls? you can make with like regular skulls <sighs> yeah I would rather that they kept the ability to turn them into oboes like I say uh, just put a vendor there I put a put one of the you know the turn in uh, cauldron -y things or whatever with the brazers that you turn them into the the it looks like um, a giant ashtray <laughs> where you put the skulls in right and leave the big ashtray there and um, it only needs to be at Mechamosha shrine and only for skulls don't don't do live turn-ins anymore because like I say 13 skulls is nothing you can get 13 skulls because all the sorcerers are still on the map So I think that that would be a really good solution, I think. 